So then we are back with the more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services where you find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Aurum Feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Hamashiach laid waste from many centuries. Reading from Yeshayahu the prophet, it's always important establishing a link from the prophets and what it means salvation because unfortunately the new testament has lots of discrepancies that were mistranslated many centuries later in other words after the event of the coming of the spirit in Shavuot and some of these scripture must have a retranslation back into Aramaic now then the content is very important however the filtering of Aramaic and Hebrew must determine what line of the prophets should line up with so then these modern times of ours when a person makes a point when a person explains or reads or argues regarding what the scripture should say and what not it's not enough for a person only given a point or interpretation or an understanding of scripture but it must line up with the timing that the prophets previously spoke and also the content must line up with the scripture now then why then so many people when they take the time to read the Bible or scripture why were these changes made many centuries ago these are very valid questions because as the text is not given every detail of what went on during the time of the coming of the Spirit who was then the person responsible for bringing the Spirit regarding the completion of the Spring Feast now then because of the situation of salvation is it truly salvation coming from a person and if it is why there were so many changes performed in these instructions speaking of the New Testament instructions because that's where most of the understandings of the New Testament comes from now understandably every section of this New Testament must line up with the prophets now that's not the only point explaining what salvation means or what should a person understand as salvation so then for a moment many people who are studying and spending the time understanding the scripture why is it the scripture is not inviting the person to study or then why is it not the scripture 
studied more? Why are not these manuscripts being studied more? Why then people prefer the pleasures of life rather than studying the manuscripts? Now then, the importance of this point is related with revelation. Salvation is the understanding of what's coming in the future. If a person is revealed, a person is saved. Now then, revelation or gala is truly salvation as a whole. Now then, a lot of people have a tendency of understanding salvation as a momentary state rather than the entire scriptures understanding of what then was, is, and shall come so then we can be sure of it that later on during the autumn feast then we are not going to get condemned as with the others. So then, if a person relates salvation as momentary, then obviously they can't understand the prophecy. But in Hebrew culture, there is no distinction from salvation of the future, salvation of the present, and salvation of the past. Now these could help a lot understanding more the scripture and lining up from the Greco translation back into the Aramaic. So these are very important situations because if a person studies, he must acknowledge there is a higher being Yet, they must have knowledge, but then anointing. Otherwise, the teaching is only secular. It's only knowledge for the purposes of having knowledge. It's not knowledge that leads to salvation. So a couple of very important facts. So next time I'm going to evaluate more the situation from the enlightenment of Revelation. So please stay tuned. Much more coming up.